Okay, we now discuss how to refine our root locus sketch by calculating real axis breakaway and break in points, J omega axis crossings, angles of departure from complex poles, and angles of arrival to complex zeros. So there are three additional rules. Additional rule number one real axis breakaway and break in points. The root locus that cross the real axis, there are two types. The first one is breakaway point, which is from the real axis where the gain is maximum. And number two is a break in points, where break into the real axis where the gain is minimum. There are two ways of calculating the breakaway and break in points where both techniques will produce the same results of breakaway and break-in points. The first one is transition method. Okay, Using this formula, the summation of 1 over sigma plus 0, all of the 0, okay, you need to do it. If you have two zeros, you need to... Uh, do this two times. You need to use this equation two times. Okay, this sigma, whether you can use sigma symbol or you also can use s symbol, okay, to represent your roots, equal to the summation of one over sigma plus pole. If you have two poles, you need to use this equation twice. So again, this sigma can be replaced with s symbol where zi and pi are the negative of the zero and pole values respectively of gh. Okay, second is using differentiation method. One, using this equation, one plus kgh equal to zero. And by rearranging this equation, we have k equal to negative one over gh and then to solve the value of s we need to differentiate this equation dk over ds equal to zero and then we need to determine s same goes to the transition method we need to determine this s or sigma that s is your breakaway and break in points so for example <coughs> Find the breakaway and break in points for the root locus of this figure using differential calculation. So we have um, this transfer function, open loop transfer function, where the zeros is positive 3 and positive 5, and also we have poles negative 1 and negative 2. By using differential method we can uh, uh, expand this equation using this method and then using the transition method you can try using the transition method too to compare the result with the differentiation method okay we have this equation okay please uh, be careful with this symbol okay please be careful with this symbol okay this is for poles uh, this is for zeros your zero is actually positive 3 and positive 5 so in this case it became negative 3 and negative 5 so this one is your poles is actually negative 1 and negative 2 okay again you can use sigma symbol or otherwise just simple just simply use a symbol so when you solve this one you have this equation equal to z equalized to 0 and then you solve for s in this case your breakaway or breaking point is this value minus 1.45 and 3.82. For differentiation method, we use this formula kgh equal to minus 1. Okay, and this is actually comes from this one. Okay, kgh minus 1. And then, to solve K, we need to rearrange this equation until we have K on the left side. And all this one, we move to the right side. 
and then we differentiate k with respect to s or dk over ds if you have if you use as symbol and then equalize to zero you will have the same uh, equation on the numerator as this one and then when you find the roots you will have the same breakaway or break in point so by looking at your um, pole and zero map using this value negative 1.45 and also 3.82 we can determine which one is breakaway and which one is break in point so by analyzing these two points on the pole and zero map we know that negative 1.45 is at this point and 3.82 at this point meaning that the negative 1.45 is the breakaway point while positive 3.82 is uh, the break-in point.